thank you all for watching Jurassic Edge. Your host, Alessandro Guerra. Thank you all for coming in to watch this review of the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Spinosaurus. All right, guys, so I'm going to just be giving you guys a detailed review of this magnificent sculpt of an action figure that we were able to attain from Mattel. And there's just so much to grab and observe with this figure. So I'm just gonna get right into all it. All right, ladies and gents. So starting off with the facial sculpt, look at all those little scales, all the creases up, and the bumps around the eyes. Look at the little horns up in the top. You got the snout all nice and long, looking just like the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. You have a little chomping feature. This is the extreme chomping Spinosaurus figure. Now there's two versions of this figure. See the tongue there? The tongue usually would st stick up on the other version, but since I got the later version, the tongue goes down once you open the chomping feature, which is to me the best version because I didn't really uh, become a fan of the tongue sticking up way up in the air while the mouth got open. So that's an awesome uh, detail that they decided to include in the newer ones. And I am very fortunate to have acquired one, not from Target, but I had to order mine all the way from England. And it got into my hands. I went through a mission to get it. I had to ask a friend of mine to go all the way to England and grab it for me. And he was kind enough to do so. So I bring this review to you guys now uh, in honor of him. So moving down to the neck. So you still got a uh, red coming down here. You have the scales to get a little bigger, run down here. So you got the uh, little split ends here that give the figure some articulation. Head goes up, head goes down. You can get a downward looking motion like that for the figure. You can uh, turn the head all the way to the side, just like so. Get them looking out to the side like that. And you can get them out to look to this side too as well, to the left and the right side. Just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Moving down to the sail. As you can see all the nice, beautiful detail on the scaling here on the sail. Has the colorations from the JP3 Spinosaurus, which I absolutely love. Got the white stream of line here. You got the red right above and you got the gray right below. Nice. You got a little tint of white coming up around here. The little fade of white uh, coming down towards the ribs. As you can see, you even got the rib marks here. Very realistic. You've got the arms down here. Now the arms look very, very muscular, as you guys can see here. You've got the, uh, the biceps, you've got the shoulders, you've got the forearms, and as well as the scaling here on the hands, which is an immense detail, which I love. I like when my dinosaurs look very bird-like, as they evolved from birds, you know? I like when they get their history right. And for a plus side, the arm claws are painted, which is a miracle, a miracle. I cannot believe that the arm claws are actually painted on this figure. So that's a plus. Everything about this guy I'm absolutely in love with. So the arms move a little bit outward and they move inward as well, kind of like the Baryonyx which I reviewed in my last video. Oh, by the way, guys, if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. Arms move back to about here, just like so. And the arms move up. Can they go 360? They can, but you need to really force it. And I don't want to force this figure since it's the only one I have. But if you force him, you can go 360. Okay, guys, moving down towards the tail. You guys can see he has 
that red streak coming from the sail all the way towards down to the tip of the tail, which is another plus sign because Mattel doesn't like to color their dinosaurs' his tail, and they did so with the Spinosaurus, which is a complete miracle. I am absolutely stunned. So you got the scaling coming down all along the ridging and the bumps down towards the tail. You have here the legs, which uh, look extremely muscular. So you got the little muscle definitions here on the legs. You got the scalings, you got the calf. You got more musculature running down towards the foot. You've got the ankle, you've got very bird-like scalings on the foot. And another miracle, that's three strikes of miracles, you got the toe claws that are painted, which is something you never ever see in a Mattel figure. You got the colored tail, you got the colored claws, and you got the colored foot. What more can you want? They went all out with this figure. Too bad we couldn't uh, really get him at Target. You know, it was really hard for me to come up on one. Uh, I wasn't really aware that they came out at Target. By the time I found out, they were already all sold out. So I had to come to other demands, and I had to ask a friend that was going to, uh, to England to go grab it for me. So I was fortunate enough to be able to attain them. I think now there's a, a blue version coming out to, to, to a Walmart, I think. Yeah, Walmart which we saw in San Diego Comic-Con. They previewed him. He has a bit of gold around the face, around the back, the sail. I think a little splash of gold here on the, on the leg. And he's just blue all around. It's not the best coloration, you know? I would have rather them release him just this way, just with the maybe battle damage and then the battle damage packaging for Walmart. That would have been awesome. But, you know, they made an effort anyways to give it to all of us fans that didn't get to easily attain them. And so we didn't have to pay a fortune in order to add them to our collection. So that's an awesome little way of working with the fans that they decided to come up with. Oh, yeah, by the way, even the the little claw here on the foot and the back is colored. Like, that's, that's insane. Okay. Oh yeah, and we have a little bit of um, red here along the bottom jaw. Kind of fades here a little bit. I like that little fade touch there. Um, all right, so coming down along the lower portion of the body, we have all white from the beginning of the torso all the way down to the tip of the tail, guys. Look at that. Even the tail is colored all the white. That's crazy, guys. Crazy. Even the bottom of the foot is sculpted. Oh, oh by the way, guys, if you haven't uh, purchased this figure, here's the scan code. So you guys can add them to the Fax app, to the Jurassic World Fax app. Okay, you guys, as for size comparison, here he is with the Rexy. This is specifically the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, which I did a review on before. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. With the Extreme Chomping. Spinosaurus. I don't think they scaled up that well. Um, I do know the JP3 Rex uh, was not Rexy and Rexy might be a little bigger. If you want to have that into consideration, then yeah, they do scale up nicely. But I like to scale them up the way I saw them in the movie. So I think who I'm going to scale them up with next will be the perfect scaling to take into consideration when playing or displaying. With the spinosaurus. And here we have the Extreme Chompin T-Rex with the Extreme Chompin Legacy Collection Spinosaurus. And I think these scale up perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. I think this is the size. I mean, well, I guess since they're both Legacy, they're meant to scale up with each other. So that makes a lot more sense. So there you guys go. I'll show you guys a view of them both next to each other. As you guys can see, the Spinosaurus is significantly longer. From the head portion, significantly longer, making its way down to the back of the tail. And the Spinosaurus is still 
a little bit longer. Now let's display him with the human figure. And here he is, guys, with Ian Malcolm. Looking spectacular. Whoop. Kind of fell there. I'm posing him correctly. There you guys go. Now you guys can see how he scales up perfectly with the three and three quarter inch figures. Look at that. Perfect. Looking so nice when you display him, you guys. Hopefully you guys were able to get him because he really is a spectacular figure. Screw Target. I mean, how can you turn down a, f a figure that has Target's coloration schemes on them? Like, I, I don't understand that. You're representing Target, brother. And they went ahead and they did you wrong. <laughs> I just want to go ahead and say thank you all for watching my video. Thank you guys for clicking the like, for commenting and subscribing. And don't forget the bell on the way out. I will be uh, uploading more frequently. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And enjoy this little skit that I came up with you guys for you guys. Thank you guys again. And I'll see you very, very soon.